In this first tutorial, we will discuss how to set up your environment starting from clean Ubuntu 2004 distribution. What we need to get started writing .NET under Linux is to install .NET Core SDK and of course an IDA for the writing of our code. And for that we will use Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. Just to mention that there are plenty of videos showing how to install uh, .NET Core SDK and Visual Studio Code. But for the purposes of the completeness of my tutorials, I will demonstrate you how to use the binaries and install them manually. What we need to do first is to download the SDK binaries. We can do that from the .NET Microsoft website and clicking here, then downloading. I will speed that a little bit. Now that we have downloaded the SDK, what we need to do are a few commands in the terminal. Uh, and it's pretty much that. Uh, the first command just creates a folder located uh, in your home directory and it's called .NET. And then uh, it just copies the binaries into that folder. That's pretty much it. But we have to execute it from the folder where the downloaded file is located. I have opened it here and we have to open a terminal and the location should be where the downloaded file is. Let's see that, the file is here. So let's copy the command and change it a little bit because the file should match. The first command is done, so let's do the others. The second command exports an environment variable called .NET root. Let's do that. And the last command just exports the .NET root to the path. And that's it. Now we should be able to use .NET Core. Let's, let's test it first. Writing .NET, that's, that's enough. We have .NET Core installed. The next thing that we need to do is to download our IDE. So let's do that. Again, like the SDK, we need to download the binaries. That will take a little bit of time. And while waiting, uh, I will walk you through the steps after that. And they're, they're pretty simple. You just have to execute that command and you'll be ready to go. So in a few seconds, we will be having Visual Studio Code and .NET Core. And OK, the download is complete. Let's close that copy that go to the downloaded folder it's the same so let's open the terminal and see the file copy the command and replace the that part here doing that in a few seconds we will be having our .NET core and Visual Studio Code ready to go. And that's it. Let's try it. To try Visual Studio Code, it's pretty simple. Just type in code. So that opens a Visual Studio Code in the current directory. Visual Studio Code has an integrated terminal, so we can switch to it. To create our first .NET Core program under Linux, we can use the .NET Core CLI. We can use the CLI like that. .NET new console slash n for name and hello Linux. 
that creates a console application for us and let's try it as we know the very basic hello world program in .NET Core it's just console right line so let's navigate to the project and try it we can do that with .NET run command and hello world that's it in the next video we'll demonstrate how to install a few plugins which will give us a productivity as good as Visual Studio.